Good morning! I haven't posted a video in a while and having an internship is one of the reasons why. So today, let me share with you a day in my life as an underwriter intern at Atreides. As usual, I wake up at around 6.15, get ready, and then have breakfast as soon as the dining hall opens at 7 a.m. I love the tranquility of 7 a.m. dining hall. For today, I'm having mashed potatoes, chicken satay, and green peas. The green peas were good as expected. And this is the first time I'm seeing chicken satay in the DH and I really, really liked it. I usually have breakfast with Aditi, but she didn't manage to wake up early that day. After breakfast at around 7.20, I'll go to the pantry to prepare my lunch. Honestly, I could tap out breakfast, but usually the portions are either not enough or the food just aren't good enough for lunch. I'm making pasta and mixed vegetables today. So boiling water is gonna be the first step. I'm very glad I can use hot water. Once the water boils, in goes the pasta. Now I'm just heating up some leftover chickpeas. I made veggie pasta sauce a few weeks ago. I then freeze them and use whenever needed. I use that pasta sauce for my chickpeas. So after heating them up, I can just toss the pasta in. Finally, last part of the meal, veggies. Pre-cut frozen veggies are my best friend. <laughs> Lastly, I just pack them all up and I actually cooked too much pasta, so I ate some while packing. Now that's lunch ready, it's time to go. Okay, I just finished cooking and I just basically tidied up my bag, but I really have to go right now because it's already like 7.50, so let's go. By the way, that would be the only time I talk while filming. Anyways, I am just walking to the bus stop. I actually saw my bus pass before I filmed this, but since my working hours actually starts at 9, I chose to just chill. <laughs> okay, and here's just me going in and being in the bus. Isn't it weird that I actually enjoy commuting? It's kind of relaxing seeing the view from the bus. And after the bus ride, I go on the MRT. And somehow, right, that day, the MRT left the moment I arrived. Just now it was the bus, now the MRT. Nice. But on the bright side, I get to have this footage. To my non-Singaporean viewers, here's the morning crowd in Ruffles Place MRT for you. I was kind of surprised when I first commuted here, but I'm used to it already now. Also, my office is connected to the MRT station, so it's very convenient and I don't have to worry so much about rains. Yay! Fun fact, this place is actually near the Merlion Park. I didn't know that until I decided to visit the Merlion Park. Anyways, I came at around 8.45 today. Still early, but later than my usual 8.30. And we have a clean desk policy here. So we have lockers to keep our laptops and other things. Now I am just setting up my desk. And of course, I need coffee. <laughs> This coffee machine is honestly one of my favorite stuffs here. 
I still remember the first time I met the other special products intern and figuring out how this coffee machine works was literally the first thing we did to get to know each other. <laughs> Okay, it's work time now. I always start my day by opening up my emails to see the tasks my managers have assigned me to do. Today, the first thing I did was check on a buyer and soon after I was told that we have a multi-buyer deal that needs to be processed. So I spent hours working with spreadsheets today. Oh, you must have realized that I'm now standing. That's one of the cool things about our office. We have electric adjustable tables. Now, back to my spreadsheet story. Most of the spreadsheets I work with are already programmed by someone else. And honestly, I've always been curious as to how they do it. Also, it was raining almost every day in Singapore, so it was very cold in the office. Now, here's some realistic footage of my working speed plus ASMR. have a one hour break at around 12. I only buy food on Thursdays when the other intern comes in because I feel bad seeing people eat alone. But on Tuesdays, I'd rather bring my own lunch to avoid the lunch queue as well as save money. Eating would usually take around 15 minutes. So I'd spend the rest of my break doing schoolwork. This may seem absurd, I know, but I have to because I'm overloading. Oh, and of course, the view from up here is just amazing. I can imagine little Nadia being very impressed. There were actually too many people in the pantry that day. So it was quite hard for me to film all this without them noticing, so I moved to the sofa area here. And after lunch, it's back to the spreadsheets. It was my first time making that many spreadsheets in a single day. 
it was honestly quite repetitive but I was doing a crazy amount of schoolwork the day before so that thinking rest was much needed. And once I was done with that multi-buyer portfolio, I got more deals to review. Oh, and if you see me writing down things, it's usually just me writing down something new I learned or just me writing my work diary. Also, me reading things out here is just me trying to comprehend what the broker was saying in the email. My working hours end at 6, so I would usually stop working at exactly 6, tidy up some things, and then leave the office at around 6.10 or 6.15. It's usually already 7pm when I arrive in CAP, and that day we were having a special Chinese New Year dinner in the dining hall. Usually, the queue will be quite long. I'm so glad there was no queue when I came. And here's what I had. As you can see, that was a lot, a lot of food. The food was slightly better than usual, but it was mainly because there was more variety rather than the actual higher quality of the food. But yeah, I'm not gonna complain about it. <laughs> After dinner and showering, it would be around 8pm, so I'd usually do more work before going to bed, and that's basically how my day is as an intern.